Hey, 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 Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are, what part of the world you're in, I hope you're having a good day. So I am burning some Mad Champa and some sweet grass. Yummy. It is really cleansing the air and bringing in some sweetness. Your sweetness is my weakness. So, I haven't used my cards in a while, so I decided to use my cards. I'm kind of doing a whatever comes up, comes out. Hopefully some good stuff. comes out. Ooh. Scorpio. <laughs> um, Capricorn at the bottom. So we could be talking about a Scorpio here. Let's keep going. I see um, Capricorn again. Sex magic. Also saw the word toxic. Lie exposed. Called you crazy or stupid. Uh oh. So either you're a Scorpio and you call someone else stupid or crazy, or a Scorpio said this about you. It could be a relationship, it could be a friend, it could be a co-worker, it could be a, rel a relative. All right. So we also have, it was a fling. Codependent one. Ooh. Codependent wanted to try to come out. Let me plug my microphone in. Just a whole lot going on okay so it was a fling during the full moon so something happened during the full moon Sagittarius we have Leo at the bottom let's see if we can get one more There we go. Success. <laughs> so maybe, maybe somebody manifested some success during this full moon. Um, and maybe a Scorpio and a Sagittarius had a flame. I don't know. Um, somebody was dishonest. Or maybe you had a fling or somebody you know had a fling. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what the tarot cards say. I don't know what's going on right now. It's going to all come together by the time we finish. Right, 
Can we make sense of these cards? Is it one story or more than one story? Did the Sagittarius try to manifest success? So, the Eight of Swords came out in the reverse. is a good thing it's 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 freedom and liberation like in the upright is somebody who's like in a self-imposed prison churning around the thoughts in their head making themselves feel like they're stuck in a situation that they may not be stuck in so in the reverse this is someone who's freeing themselves of that um, and this is associated with your solar plexus chakra, right? Um, so what are you doing to release this energy, to escape, to find your freedom, or find a solution, um, to explore your options, to get the relief, to take control of your life again? Somebody's doing something to get their life back. Um, maybe somebody was... A little depressed after they had a fling maybe they thought it was going to turn into a relationship and maybe you know it was with us again maybe a Scorpio had a fling with a Sagittarius not realizing it was going to be a fling and maybe this Sagittarius you know tried to call the Scorpio crazy or stupid um, but the lie was exposed that you know this person just wanted to be a fling but wasn't honest about it up front um, then we have the death card in reverse. Yes, yeah, somebody wasn't able to move forward. And if it was that Scorpio, that makes sense. And I just peeked at the bottom of this deck and addiction is at the bottom. Um, it is upside down, but maybe somebody was addicted. You know, maybe somebody was addicted to the sex, which again... Um, it doesn't have to be a Scorpio. It could be somebody with Scorpio in their chart. Um, even if they didn't have a flame, it could be somebody who was trying to have a flame with a Sagittarius. And maybe the Sagittarius was dishonest about their intentions. Um, and somebody's not able to move forward. They may be afraid to move on or they may be afraid that you're going to move on or that somebody's going to move on whether this is your your energy or you're a cross watcher somebody's you know doing the same thing over and over again and not understanding why they're not getting the success you know from these old negative patterns um, somebody doesn't want to change so i feel like maybe again this scorpio or this person with scorpio in this their chart um, maybe met a Sagittarius and this Sagittarius wanted to have that person as a flame um, and thought that he or she would be successful in doing so. Could have even manifest, tried to manifest something during the full moon. Um, and now, you know, whether they were intimate or not, you know, this one or both, you know, I feel like the Sagittarius more so is just stuck in a negative pattern where they just want to sleep around and not commit and they're not wanting to change um which is making them dependent on the opposite sex just for sex if that makes sense and not a true connection it's become a an addiction a sexual addiction um, it could be the Scorpio, but I feel like I'm leaning more toward this being the Sagittarius' energy for some reason. Or somebody with Sagittarius in their chart. Could even be their Venus sign. Um... 
Yeah, somebody was disappointed. And again, somebody feels stuck. They may feel stuck with somebody that they don't even really want to deal with. But again, because this person doesn't want to commit, they're just, you know, addicted to having a good time with whoever. Um, and the person that they were trying to have a fling with wasn't trying to hear that. That's, that's what I'm picking up. Yeah, this person thought they were going to be successful and have some type of celebration in this friendship. They wanted it to be a friendship, but pretending that they wanted to be a friend and they really just wanted it to be a fling, right? Um, but this, I feel like this is the end of the cycle for this person. Like it is time for this person to change. How they say poop or get off the pot. <laughs> um, this person knows it's time for them to change, but they're still reluctant to do so. Um, in the meantime, somebody is successful. I think that this Scorpio may be happy that they dodged that bullet and that they were successful and were able to successfully reject the Sagittarius without, you know, really feeling bad. Maybe they did feel bad, but now they're celebrating because they realized that the lie was exposed and that this person just you know tried to slander them um by calling them crazy or stupid but they knew that they were right this could also be some type of gathering a party um someone getting engaged so maybe once the scorpio walked away maybe somebody came and proposed and again this doesn't have to be a scorpio it could be somebody with scorpio in their chart Could be a graduation a baby shower just good times somebody who's socializing having a party um, just celebrating and getting together with good people three of wands yeah this is somebody who's used their their third eye or their intuition to have the foresight you know to see you know beyond what was being presented to them this could also be somebody who's traveling. Um, could even be somebody who's traveling abroad or moving abroad. Somebody who's moving forward with their, with their life with confidence. Someone who believes in themselves and appreciates their freedom. And, and, and this person is successful without, you know, this other person. And this other person, again, this person could have been saying that this other person was crazy and stupid, but now this person is successful and other people see that because the lie has been exposed. And now this person is traveling and being happy and living their life with freedom instead of staying stuck in bondage with someone who just wanted to have a flame. This is someone who's happy with their choices and whatever work they've done to become this way, to finally be able to, to set boundaries and stand up to people um, is now paying off because again, now this person is successful um, on their own and they don't feel like they have to depend on anyone else for success. Yep. <laughs> This person has achieved their Ten of Pentacles. They've healed their root chakra, right? This is great. Um, this could be a Virgo, a Capricorn, or even a Taurus, but I feel like um, this could just be somebody with an earth sign in their chart um, or somebody who just has grounded their energy and again has been able to heal and they know who they are now you know this could be somebody who's been really getting into those i am affirmations um maybe manifest manifesting success during the full moon this is good
Then we have the four of wands in the reverse. On the flip side, somebody's not happy because, um, you know, they're not getting the same celebration with this person because they tried to lie and call this person crazy or stupid. Um, whoever this person is, they feel insecure. Um, they don't have confidence. This person is not growing. They have no peace in their life because they don't know who they are. Why is the Empress in reverse out here? What else do we need to know? Yeah, I'm starting to feel like maybe some other people were involved. Maybe even try to set this person up. Um, to try to get, you know, this person in a low vibing place. And this person, again, dodged the bullet and moved forward on all of them. And now it's, again, experiencing success. This is someone who has overcome the obstacles. Their hard work is paying off. Look, victory and success. <laughs> and this person is now being recognized for it, right? This is somebody who has strength. This is also someone who has learned to look at things from a different perspective. So yes, yeah, somebody healed. Congratulations. Yes. I feel like I almost want to leave it there. <laughs> Somebody's healed from some past energy who tried to sabotage, belittle, and ruin their life. Gossiped. Called them crazy and stupid. Now people see that it's a lie because this person is successful and moving forward with their life. They get, they have their ten of pentacles, or they're about to get their ten of pentacles, and they are celebrating life, and they know who they are, and they're not gonna let anybody tell them anything different. And I definitely think that these cards are done. All right, let's see. Let's get some oracle messages. Let's see what the oracle has to say. This is great, great, great. messages do we need to know what messages do we need what oracle messages do we need to see to close out this reading truth be told yes the truth was told honey <laughs> and orphaned so somebody feels abandoned um but I think this person feels abandoned because they don't want to change. And this card is the number five. And five represents change. So somebody needs to change. They're, they're upset that they're missing out on the celebration. <laughs> they want to be there to celebrate with you. But they can't because they try to betray you and backstab you. Anything else? Look, and the the truth be told is a 14, which is also a 5. Milk and honey. Yep, somebody got their milk and honey on them. <laughs> somebody became successful on them. Got that 10 and P. Baby. <laughs> the truth always comes out. I don't care if it takes years. The truth always comes out. Okay, I think these cards are done too. So that's the reading. Love y'all. Later. Mwah.